What's the word, y'all? Whoa, what a game. I just got to say, Olympic basketball in general has been absolutely fire. I mean, I haven't really been covering it at, at all other than talking about it on the podcast, really. This is one of them games, man. Team USA down by as much as 17 points to Serbia. Uh, fourth quarter, we're down by eight going into the fourth quarter. Ten-minute quarters, down by eight is a lot. And they come back and win the game. Um, France versus Germany was also fire, but it was this one was different, obviously, because I'm, I'm an American and everything. Um, I forgot what it felt like to root for a team in a game that matters. I'm standing up the whole second half, watching, watching. Are they gonna do this? Are they gonna do that? And and what's the old uh, Cat Williams thing, man? Some of y'all might be too young to understand this. They sh- they shouldn't been talking shit. That's all I was thinking about as the run went on, bro. And yes, America undoubtedly has the most talented team. You can say that Serbia had no business being in the game. You go talent for talent. That's not really that's not really relevant. Serbia gave an amazing game, bro. In the first half, like they, uh, Jokic is the best player in the world, right? And, and he is amplified, amplified when his shooters are shooting. And if you watch any of Serbia throughout this entire run, you knew that they had a chance to win a gold if their shooters were hitting shots. And in that first that first half. It was nothing you could do. You're going to double on Jokic. Well, uh, Bogdanovich is going crazy. Three to the dome looking at Melo. Melo like, me? <laughs> what, what, me and you? What? Um, three to the dome like Melo. And then um, Abramu, I don't know all of the names. If they're not an NBA player, my apologies. I'm giving my utmost respect because they played a hell of a game. But when, when Jokic is there, you throw a double and he's kicking it off to a shooter. What are you supposed to do? Because if you don't bring the double, he's just going to dominate <laughs> So the first half, they played what felt like a perfect game where they had all three levels, honestly. They had the three-point shoot and then Jokic down low. The, the, I almost had the Bulls. Wow, that's how much I was rooting for Team USA today. Um, Team USA had the shooting, and it was Steph Curry. We're going to talk about Steph Curry. They had the shooting, but the in-between game, get into the basket was non-existent. And I'm looking at the lineups like, Bron, get to the hoop. Anthony Edward, too. I was actually surprised that man got any time in the second half. I thought that he played so bad that it was... It was probably wraps for him in a second. I played a little bit, didn't really do much. But I was like, get to the basket, get to the basket. I know the, the rules being different might deter you from getting to the rim. But when you get that, it's hard to be stopped regardless. You're Braun, you're KD, you're this and you're that. I, I had forgot what it was like to root for a team in, in a big game. Steph Curry. Oh, boy. Steph Curry is the reason we won this game, obviously, at 30-something points. He was one point away, I think, from tying Carmelo's Carmelo Anthony's most points by an American in a men's basketball Olympic game. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, in the first quarter, I mean, Team USA is what, down by eight going into the second quarter, and Steph Curry has 17, in the, 17 of the 23 in the quarter by himself. Look away threes while you down this ballsy stuff. Steph, where the hell? He did it. And then he had a couple huge shots down the stretch, the huge free throws to ice it, great rebounding from the one of the littlest men on the court, um, on the steal down the stretch. Steph Curry had not been good in this Olympic run, but when they needed him the most to go to the damn gold medal round, he stepped up and he was supernova Steph. Early on, I was going to get a tweet out, but I knew it was, you know what I'm saying? I was going to get a tweet out that it looked like Steph Curry on the 2023-2024 Warriors to start off with, when Steph was doing everything by himself, and he looking around like, damn, is anybody going to help me? And then eventually, he started to get the help. Uh, help. Kevin Durant take to that game in that third quarter, and he was like, I got this. And he had a couple baskets. One, Joel B was coming to set a screen. He said, I don't need that. Pull up, jump shot, give us the lead. <laughs> rah, rah, USA, USA. That's how I felt. And, and Joel B, let's talk about JoJo, because he had his own personal, what, 8-0 stretch late in the, the third quarter. That was great for us. Now, granted, he didn't box out at all and gave up like six of those points right back by not boxing out. But he had a, a real stretch out there where he was phenomenal as well, which was dope. And then um, when, when Bogdanovich is talking his trash, talking his trash, they cut to LeBron James. And, and LeBron James is like not laughing, just a little, just a, just a little bit of a smirky smoke from Bron. And they they're down at this point by what 14 points. And Bron with a little smirky smirk. I'm like, oh snap. And then you saw LeBron up his intensity, specifically on the defensive side of the ball. Late in this game, it wasn't Joel Embiid guarding Jokic. It wasn't Anthony Davis guarding Jokic. It was Bron 
uh, jumping over uh, um, uh, post-ups to deflect the ball. He was everywhere, offensively and defensively. And then he has the the layup. He go down downhill, get the layup with the reverse, and then he flex on him. At one point, they down by eleven. LeBron got an and one, and he did the two small. I'm like, bro, you down by eleven, big fella. They knew. And again, talent for talent, Serbia doesn't hold up. But Serbia had a really good game plan, and they executed specifically earlier in this game. And then eventually, the talent level, the shot making from Team USA elevated while Serbia's shot making went down. I mean, uh, Dwayne Wade on the call was asking, like, do we believe that Serbia is going to have this level of shooting in the second half as well? And it's possible. And it's a one game elimination at this point. All they needed was an extra quarter of great shooting. They didn't they didn't really get that while Team USA started to they didn't again shoot the ball amazingly well, but start to get those stops and turn them into baskets. I feel like I'm forgetting some people. Um, Devin Booker didn't have a phenomenal game, but he had a big time three down the stretch. And one thing about Devin Booker, and I think I'm gonna make a big video about this after the gold uh, medal game versus France, which is gonna be a good game. Um, about Devin Booker specifically, how he is able to to turn into Derek White if you need him to. <laughs> Like guard the best team, the team's best guard, and take four shots and be happy because we're winning basketball games. Like that's that's very commendable. Shout out to Book and his vlogs have been pretty pretty dope as well. I'm just again, it had been so long since I have had a chance to root for a game like this, a comeback win in a game that matters the most. Again, Team USA is the heavy favorite to win all of this. They have Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Steph Curry. Um, um, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, like they have what five all five of the seventy six best players ever, according to peers on the roster right now. Yes, Joel Embiid would say they're old and everything; they're not the same. But regardless, they have the talent level, and it was just so dope for them to be able to turn it on and get that win. And they're only they're one game away. It's against France and France, and France is a story in itself because during the pre preliminary rounds or like the the exhibitions. They look dead in the water. I think they went 0 for 4, 0 for 5. And I'm like, yeah, that don't like a team that can really compete. They have a good game against Canada. And then uh, they have a great game here against Germany. And Germany came into that as the favorite. And they were able to stop Franz Wagner, even though Franz hit the big shot down the stretch. And then play great defense. Uh, Yoshan Garbusele, who should be in the NBA next season. I, I feel like everybody just stepped up except for Rudy, who got six total minutes played. But in any way... My, my mentors was crazy. Oh, boy, Rudy is sitting on the bench when his country need him the most. I'm like, they don't really need him. Rudy Gobert is better. <laughs> He's just better. I can't be mad at coach for putting a better player on the court because Wimby just is better. Anyway, I feel like I'm forgetting a lot of stuff about this game. Um, regardless, it was a scary one. And I'm like, the the last time, uh, for, for, the entire, for the majority, uh, uh, pretty much all of my life as an NBA fan, Team USA has gone to the Olympics and got the goal. Again, almost every time. And with this roster being as talented as it was when they were down by 17 points, I'm thinking to myself, damn, this ain't it. Because last year we went into FIBA and lost. We Did we medal? I don't think we medaled. And that was one of the reasons why they was like, we're going to get the Avengers together. We're going to get Steph Curry. We're going to get LeBron James. We're going to get Kevin Durant. We're going to put together our A-team and bust the world's ass in basketball because they was laughing at us when we was in FIBA. And if they would have lost this game, bro, I don't know what would have happened, dog. I don't know what the conversations would have been, but they got it. Shout out to Steph Curry. Shout out to L L Captain America. Shout out to the all-time lean scorer in, in Team USA Basketball, Kevin Durant. Shout out to Joel Embiid for that stretch. I, I just, there's a lot to be said. Um, Steve Kerr, I, I bite my tongue on Steve Kerr right now. They one game away. 